I was doing a project on mountains, so because I love hiking and being out in the mountains all the time. And while I was out uh, kind of getting materials for that, I changed my mind. Instead of doing mountains, I said I'd do some paintings of bogs. And uh, rather than actually paint uh, the brown of the bog with paint, oil paint or acrylic paint, I said I might as well just stick the, the peat into the painting. So I went out and I scooped up a load of peat out of the bog. As a, as a medium that I enjoyed and that represented a very Irishness and a very human, organic side to artwork that you don't really get through other mediums. So it had, even though I stumbled across it just as a visual thing, it then had a, a life of its own because it is, it is a living, well it was a living material. So I, I started to use it to convey something about humanity in the medium itself. So I would do figures, the human figure in peace. So I did a lot of portraits in peat and then I used to sell them on Stevens's Green, you know, in the summertime, just as a, as a hobby, as, a, as an amateur painter. But uh, then I started to mix it with color and put some color down and then uh, put the peat on top. So over the last eight to nine years, it's kind of, it's been refined a little bit, but I've been using it about nine years now as a medium, yeah. And I'm still using it, and still my major one. I, uh, I use other stuff as well, but I still like the, the richness of it, yeah. Because of the, the texture of the peat, and you make a stroke, sometimes the little lumps in that stroke will have that little life of its own, and you just stand back and look at it and say, I like that. It's not something you intended, but it looks good and you just leave it. So it, the peat is enhancing the painting itself. I've got peat from different places because I wanted to, to convey an image from the peat of that location, you know. So if I wanted to do a Galway picture, I wanted to try and use Galway peat just, just to say this is done when the landscape of the painting is the material that's in it. But when you live half your time in the rural Ireland, especially where things are done in a more traditional way, you just see how beautiful the interconnection between man and the land is, and that how the land provides for us so that we can survive. And that's part of our survival in this world, is our dependency on the land. So the peat brings that, the organicness of the peat, brings that into a painting, so when you see a figure or in a location or doing something and it's done in peat, you've an immediate connection with the land there. And that's the, I think that's the strength of the medium is that it shows you the earthiness of, of what we are, you know, as people. We're getting a bit poor on relational things. We're getting poor on the spiritual things. We're getting poor in the aspects of life that I think are more important. And so I'd like to stir those up again in people's lives by creating images that stir that, that are strong images. And uh, so it's, I want to do more of that. I want to do things that bring people out into the area of questioning, what am I here for? I do a lot of the Irish writers because um, once the medium is, is an Irish medium, you know, Irish pieces, Irish. And the writers, the Irish writers, I often think that they have been influenced by the land in which they have lived and the people that they've lived with. So the bog has had an influence on Irish writers. So I do famous Irish writers, or Irish artists, musicians. And uh, so doing them in organic Irish peat sort of shows where they've come from, you know, so it's kind of a little testimony to where they have been influenced, you know.
looking at human survival in life. And if that could be known as what it's about, well then that would be good.